Hey, everybody. I'm Lance Koike. Uh We're going to talk about blogs. Uh, so, hey, that's me. Um, traditionally, I've done a lot of fitness over the last 12 years or so, 13, I guess now. I've got a master's degree in anatomy. If you want to talk about uh, anatomy or fitness, I'm happy to. I write about software over here. And the reason I link to that is because this is not meant to be a tutorial. If you take all the code from this presentation, it's not. It's not guaranteed to work, let's say. Um, and I need to talk about all this because I'm looking for work. So if you're hiring, please uh, reach out. I'm happy to talk. Actually looking for my first job in software engineering, but I've been learning over the last six years. So this project came to me. I, I say all that because uh, I had a, a friend come to me say he needs a blog for a site um because he doesn't know if he's going to be out of a job next year so he wants to start like showing his portfolio and writing about um you know himself and what he does in the professional sports arena and uh, since i'm looking for a job i thought this would be a good idea to learn a new technology <laughs> so uh traditionally i would have made something like this in wordpress but that just wasn't very exciting if i were going to make this for myself i might have done it with markdown files but for him he's I, I can't tell him to you know use markdown as his image editing and uploading thing so what i decided um next.js has a uh, headless wordpress like pre-install and that was really easy to kind of get going but it was really hard to tinker around with so I like Django, I decided to go with some Django. Um, essentially, the front end will ask the back end, the Django, uh, hey, we got to build our site, uh, I need the data. Um, Nginx is also going to give us a little bit of a, a link into the back end so he can edit those things. And for this, I'm actually using SQLite as our database. Um, just a little overview, like this is kind of what it's going to look like. The biggest thing maybe to point out here, since we're all Python people and I'm just trying to mitigate the, the nausea we might get from implementing JavaScript, um, pages in your source, uh, source folder here are going to be really important. So Next.js will look in there and it'll say, oh, if there is a file here, I'm going to render that component as a page. For Django, this is all just basic. We're going to kind of skip through this, but this is a post. Uh, we're, we got a title, we got a slug, we got a body. You can add other stuff. I have like, a, you know, uh, categories and whatnot. Uh, we have to make, we have to install uh, Django REST framework, and then we have to make a serializer for this post. And then we're going to make an API view or two, one that will list all our posts and more specifically to our talk today, one that's going to list the detail for each individual thing. Route it to a URL, and then you can check to see if it's up and going. So here's a, a detail about a post. There's a hello world post. Now for the Next.js side, you're going to start, you got to make sure you got Node installed, and it's probably, it probably matters what version it is. Uh, NPX create next app is next kind of like boilerplate thing that's going to give you that directory structure that we talked about earlier. You can say npm run dev to run the development server and you can see it at port 3000. Basically pages are react components in in Next.js. So I define this function home and then I return this is the content of home. I decided to define a TypeScript interface for this, just to kind of give me some typing so I knew when I messed things up later on. Um, and so all we're doing here is we're kind of replicating what we're getting from our Django post you know, query. Uh, if I create my post, then I can use that interface to say, our, my post should look like this and warn me if it doesn't, it won't even compile if it doesn't. And then I can render my post title. Now. The, the thing that I really wanted to point out here is if I'm going to create a static blog with Next.js, I need to define where all the URLs are coming from. And so we're going to make this utility function get post slugs. It's going to return a list of slugs in this particular format that um, Next.js wants. Um, so post slug should look something like this params slug string. Um, and right here, we're just gonna fetch our API at the posts. This is this is maybe, the, yes. So this is the list of all of our posts. And then we're gonna filter all of that data down so that we just have the slugs. 
Then, so get static paths. Remember that name. That's like the first thing. That's the thing that's going to map out how many pages should we have and what should they be called? Where should their slugs be? Where should they be located? Um, and then get static props is what populates each individual post. So from here, uh, I'm going to use a get post. I'm going to query my Django, and then it's going to be wonderful. Um, last thing I wanted to show you is just you can deploy this with the Nginx. Um, you're going to run the Next.js server, and you're going to run your Django server on the same thing. Thank you. <laughs>